31-year-old Tony Oosep is a general worker. So is 36-year-old Ben Harasep. Then there's 35-year-old Lisa Mekonjo, a housekeeping supervisor. They are just part of the 90 workers employed here at Marula Conservation Park. 51,000 hectares of nature stretching all the way from the Jose Akutako International Airport to just outside Dordabas. The Russian billionaire has now decided to invest 40 million in phase one of what is considered a state of the art private school. Speaking through an interpreter, Sadarov said the school, which will cater for 120 learners, should be complete by 2024. The majority of workers, uh, they have kids, and um, the main idea is just to re reunite the families and give them an opportunity to stay with their parents. At the moment, authorization has been given for the school to start from grade 0 to 3, but the plan is to accommodate learners until grade 12. This is what some of the employees think about the gesture. My firstborn is at North. The schooling there at Odibo, and the second one is in window, looking after herself in hostel. And it is very difficult for a child of, that is 12 years old, stay in hostel. It's very painful. And for a school, I'm very happy, very, very happy. It will make some things easier for us, like transport and going far, looking for schools, those things will be cutted now. We will just go nearby here, next to our working place. My partner is pregnant at the moment. When she gives birth and the child is old enough, I will enroll the child at the school being built here. Marula Conservation Park's legal advisor, Sisa Namanje, says everything at the school will be free. We dress the kids to feed the kids, to pay teachers, to pay institutional workers, to do everything, including transport of the kids, everything, and to fund um, rec uh, recreational activities and, and um, sport uh, activities. The, the projections are that per annum he will be spending 20 million in this school, in the running of this school. Media reports over the years point to the fact that the Russian billionaire's stay in Namibia has been quite controversial. The legal advisor, however, says Sardarov has pumped more than $2.7 billion into Namibia's economy since 2012.